And the Winston-Salem Police Department is working to fill its 112 vacant officer positions. And for the first time in years, the department is starting to make a bit of a dent. And the department says recruitment efforts are paying off in a major way, and they're expecting their largest class of new officers since way before the pandemic. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro sat down with Chief Will Penn Jr., the department's senior recruiter, joins us live from PD headquarters now. All right, Cassie, what's working? So they basically tell me it comes down to one word, culture. They're actually using social media to help show people what it's like to be a Winston-Salem police officer, and they're setting a new tone that starts with Chief Penn. Nationwide, uh, we hadn't fully recovered from the Ferguson effect, from what happened in Ferguson, Missouri. Winston-Salem Police Chief William Penn points back to almost 10 years ago when things changed, after Michael Brown was shot and killed by a Ferguson police officer. After COVID and George Floyd being killed, it got even worse. Winston-Salem PD has been operating for several years now with roughly 20% fewer officers than the department needs. It's been a rough last, you know, seven, eight years. Since Chief Penn took the helm almost a year ago, recruiting has been on overdrive. One of the challenges, Greensboro and High Point, they both need officers too. Everyone's looking for that same person, that same person with the servant heart. So it, it, Actually becomes like an arms race to try to get good folks into your department. That means recruiting not only locally but statewide. More than a dozen North Carolina officers have made the switch to work at WSPD. You have to believe in what you're doing. You have to believe in the agency before you can recruit. Now, people see right through it when it's not genuine. These three social media posts show one effort in genuine transparency, like a fun moment showing an officer getting a donut. Another showing a female officer smiling, promoting positivity, and one powerful post showing a man who went from a cadet to a fully sworn law enforcement officer. When applicants are looking for a place to work, they're going to the social media. 75% of our newest applicants said they learned about the agency on social media. The first step would be to actually come in and take a reading comprehension test. Veteran Officer Corporal Christopher Dabb takes calls 24-7 from potential employees. My cell phone number is on the website and, and w the purpose of that, my personal cell phone, so it's so that we're accessible anytime. He's proud of the large incoming class and says it's been a team effort. When Chief Penn took over and just kind of the way people are bonding together to fill vacancies, it's now a family feel. And he says with anything, looking to social media or reaching out to young people, it's up to recruiters to embrace what works. We want this place to be safe and full of police. And of course, everyone knows the little things are really the big thing. So one of the things that they're excited about here is they're getting all new uniforms. They're going to be more breathable and comfortable for officers. And they get in and out of the car an average of 50 to 60 times a day. So you can bet they're excited about those new duds on the way. Live in Winston-Salem, Cassie Fambro, Fox 8 News. That'll be nice once the heat comes back. Cassie, thank you.